so I am actively working right now to redesign things that were lost in the blue screening of my computer by the cybercrime that's been attacking my life now since almost 2012. But in the last week, I had people who've been hacking me for the past several weeks, if not months, destroy my intellectual property that I've been building. So I have to redesign it again today, and while I'm doing that, someone is once again trying to reorganize my files and my folders, and they're doing it through the Wi-Fi network at Staples. So the question is, is an employee of that company being paid to do that, or is it someone ill-willed sitting in a parking lot, sitting behind the building, sitting in a police car doing that? Now. If I imply that these people have the technological skills to do that, is it not true? Do we not have transparency in the force? Do we not have authenticity in our conversations? And do we not have the right to tell our truth and our story of our life the way that it's happening to us? The liars of America like to hack cell phones, destroy content, and ruin lives. And openly, they might be being paid by their companies to do something else, but yet they're doing it. So who's to blame? I believe it's a matter of ethics, and I believe it's a matter of morals, but it's also a matter of illicit decisions. In America, we have rights, and these people are ava availing themselves to take away a human being's rights. They destroyed hundreds of hours worth of work, and openly they did that last week to be a jerk. So let's talk about you, baby. What do you think you've got rights to is sort of funny, but the reality that you still continue to believe that you have rights to me is really amazing because you've enslaved yourself to a project that's foolish. You're hacking and harassing, sexually assaulting, abusing and raping a homeless man. How dare you do that?